thing is, is that you have to watch where the money moves. The second quarter of this year, we've seen investors start to invest more and more into real estate, right? One now in every four homes, right? That's a lower price property is being bought by an investor. One in every six homes in general is being bought by an investor. And you'd think that because interest rates have gone up, investors would have actually slowed down. But actually this year, they've started pacing things up and buying more and more real estate. Right now, the question you have to ask yourself is, why would they buy more real estate when it's actually more expensive right now to buy real estate and interest rates are still up, right? The reality is what they see that we don't see is there are so many forecasts right now that interest rates will be coming down. If they can buy more and more real estate right now, right, whilst the rates are still high, what they're going to benefit from is the interest rates coming down. And then as those rates come down, what happens? Right, property prices will shoot up over the next year and the next year as rates go down because there's more demand on the market, right? So their assets that they bought right now with these high interest rates are going to go up in value and they're going to benefit from that, right? So they're betting heavily that property prices will go up, but a lot of us are thinking we're smarter and we're going to wait for the rates to come down in order to buy. But what they're doing is they're buying now, allowing the rates to come down, and then we're going to end up buying that home from them as the price goes up. And they're going to be the real winners here, not us. Right, so if we look at home buying, right, from a consumer level, it doesn't make sense right now. From an investor level, it makes a lot of sense. We need to flip that. We need to think like investors so that we can benefit like investors too.